Welcome back everyone. I am Friar Tuck and this is my epoch. So what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, a topic that's going to be kind of sensitive for some people. Some people might like it, some people might not. It just, it, it, it depends uh, overall on how you view things. But should you ever become homeless? Should you ever have to bug out? Should you ever have to migrate from one part of the country to the other? There may come points in time when you have to rely on the kindness of strangers. And sometimes you gotta sit there and you gotta ask for it. And that's what panhandling really is. You're asking for uh, some sort of, uh, of assistance uh, with whatever it is that you may need, whether it be food, whether it be other resources, whether it be other things, okay? So uh, panhandling, I, I was taught how to panhandle by a professional panhandler. Okay, and uh, I only use it in necessity. It's a skill that I have that if I ever get in a pinch, I go and I do it. Now, there are di more dignified ways to do it than others. Uh, you could just sit there and say, why lie? I need beer. Okay, but you got to realize the underlying reason why people are giving you, uh, giving you money. I mean, some of it is they just feel bad for you, uh, and, and that's low-hanging fruit. But if you want to be able to uh, get something more than maybe 10 or $15 uh, in a day, you know, I mean, that's like an eight-hour day sitting out there on a street corner gathering loose change. What, $15 ain't going to really do much for you. Now, there are ways to go around and to do volume and to just, you know, go through crowds of people and to do it that way as well. Uh, but the, the underlying thing that's really going to actually help you succeed uh, versus fail and it will help you have a... a you won't feel so dirty in the morning at, or, or afterwards after you're done because quite frankly just in my opinion the whole panhandling thing has really it it, it has really dropped uh, it, it makes it makes me feel dirty it makes me feel icky i don't like panhandling and if i do panhandle um it's it's strictly not only out of necessity but it's also something that uh that that i do when i need to okay so let me let me kind of teach you the underlying uh, the underlying principle of all this as a uh, you know, and I'm looking forward to reading your comments on what you guys think of all of this but uh, You know the most important thing is that you've got to be entertaining the reason why people like why lie I need beers one because it's honest but two, it's entertaining. It's out of the norm. It's not homeless and broke. Please help. Nobody cares about that. I mean, some people will, but most people won't. Okay. The homeless or the uh, why lie I need beer is a form of entertainment. People see it. They chuckle. They they reminisce uh, in nostalgia of like, oh yeah, I remember going to the bar. Yeah, man, this guy deserves a beer too. Okay. Uh, or for other reasons. But for me, when I flew a sign. What I flew a sign saying is history for a dollar. And as people are going through, just like those little sign twirlers that are out there, you know, and they said they, they don't they have their music in their ears. They don't really talk to people. Me, I engage with the public. I go for foot traffic. Most people that do some sort of um, most people that do some sort of, of large scale panhandling generally do uh, like fly a sign next to a busy road or something along those lines. Okay, and uh, those those people probably bring in twenty, fifty, a hundred dollars over a couple of hours, and they're able to make good money. But those spots uh, are hard to get to, and not only are they hard to get to, uh, once somebody gets them, uh, it's hard to get them up off of it. And then you you got to play a game, and people will fight you over those spots. So standing on a street corner where there is foot traffic is going to be a, a, a lot better bet for you if you're just planning on doing it periodically and it's not going to be something that you're going to do long term. So, um, sorry, I got the police. They keep driving by me. I don't know why. I think they might have thought I was recording them. But um, uh, either, either way, so uh, sorry, I was distracted by that. So I'm trying to gain my thoughts back. All right, guys, so I apologize for that. But... You know, me, history for a dollar. And then I, I, I see people, I engage them. Another way of legitimized panhandling would be street vibes. Hey, street vibes, get your street vibes. Hey, they all come with a smile. Something stupid, something to get people. You know, I was doing for most of the, hey, smile, you know, they're contagious. Before I knew it, within, within probably about 20, 30 minutes, 
because because of how contagious a smile is everybody down the block just started smiling and then as people were coming up they already had a, a half smile on their face so it was easy to get them smiling again and it became my own form of personal entertainment because i was just i'm messing with the psychology of people in a way that that i understand and most just kind of you know if you know what i'm doing you'll, you'll be chuckling right along with me because it's it's fun you're using you're using certain certain things but now when people come and they're going both directions now they're in a more positive mood because i'm being entertaining i'm putting a smile on their face i'm interacting with them and as i'm interacting it's spreading and therefore as more people come up to me now all of a sudden instead of only making maybe 10 or 15 dollars for the day you're making 25 50 75 dollars you know 100 dollars for the day somebody might get your hotel room. i mean there's all kinds of things that happen uh, out here as far as kindness uh, to people now it's rare that big things like anything more than like a dollar bill or some change come at you but it still is is something that it is what it is okay so if you're gonna if you're thinking about panhandling and you think that this might be something that you have to do as an individual um, and it's a necessity at least learn how to master your craft because here's the thing this if you're doing it in a small city or a big city if you if you go to a place let's say you do it every day for 30 days uh, people will start not only coming up to you checking on you uh, interacting with you developing relationships with you which allows you to create contacts within the community that you can use to improve your situation not by not by uh, going out there and and just you know asking for for you know, handouts or being a freeloader. Uh, please don't don't think that because that you'll burn you'll burn all your bridges real quick uh, if you start doing something like that. People want to help pe those that want to help themselves, and you know they don't know who wants to help themselves because nobody really wants to help themselves. Not even a lot of these houses uh, that are that are in this situation because. You know, I, I got a comment the other day, you know, you keep voting Democrat. It has nothing to do with Democrat or Republican. It has to do with the mentality of the population. And it's just manifest in our politics, and it's a direct reflection of us. So instead of blaming it on, on a red or a blue, maybe you should take a, a, a look on your inside and figure out what the true content of your character is. Because these politicians that you keep voting for are a direct reflection of you, how you think, how you feel, and how you view the world. That's how they were able to get elected to begin with. And this, this plays across in a lot of different things. I know this is going to ruffle a lot of feathers, but, you know, sometimes you just got to say what needs to be said. Okay, politics has become a religion instead of something to where we can hash out ideas uh, and, you know, have groups of people working for common things. It's, it's now become ideological. But I, I don't want to get on that whole politic thing too much because I know a lot of you have already turned off or whatever. So what I'm going to say is this. If you're going to panhandle, do it for the right reasons. Uh, and if you, if you do do it, make sure you use it to the best of your ability. Right now, if you are homeless and you're out here uh, or you're traveling, you're going through SHTF, you're bugging out, regardless of what situation you may be going through that puts you in this situation right here, okay, you, you've got to look at it as everything is an opportunity. Okay, everything that you do, every contact, the way that you conduct yourself, the way that people view you, the, the way that society interacts with you is based upon you. And not only how you view the world, but other, other things that are going on in here, but it also requires effort, it requires striving. Okay, and if you, if you really want to better your situation and become a better, not only just a better human being, but let's say you're out here, you wanna get out of it, well, again, Everything is an opportunity for you. Use it to the best of your ability. Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, you guys know how to help the channel. If you're not a subscriber, become a subscriber. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. Everything else is down below in the description. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.